Hello Scorpio, it's my lady from Malay's Way here and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 31st through August 7th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, Thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. I really appreciate you guys. And if you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me. And we can see if we can check something out. But, guys, I was thinking about new, using some new cards. And if you guys like them, um, then I will uh, pre-order them. So, you have to go check. Um, it's an e e email. No, no. Actually, she has a YouTube page, like showing the descriptions of whatever everything is. It, her name is Christabel Jessica. So if you type that in, I'm pretty sure to type up. Let me know if you guys want me to use those cards, okay? Other than that, let's get this show on the road. What's going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio for July 31st through August 7th. Love reading Scorpio. I really like those cards, you guys. So just let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, sorry, you got a flyer already. So, this flyer came from the Cleo card. So, something that you're trying to do is going to be unsuccessful. But if you got a question, I'm hearing uh, no. Okay. All right, what's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio, July 31st of August. 7, 2017. Oh. So. Basically somebody broke up with you. Okay. Or somebody wants to break up with you. Mm. Wow. Okay. So first this person was using you and then they broke up with you. Hmm. Oh, they left you with a lot of burdens. So I'm feeling like maybe you guys live together or they had a whole bunch of stuff in your name or something like that. And, you know, they was just like pulling you down farther and farther and farther as, you know, you guys were in a relationship. And then they left and left all this stuff for you to pay for. Okay, yeah, so it's not looking too good in the future. I feel like some of you guys... Want to know if this person is coming back. And I don't think so. Oh yeah, it's pissing you off. Oh yeah, it pissed me off too. Somebody made hundreds or thousands of dollars in debt. You know, and they was only paying a quarter of it. But that quarter was helping me finish paying this stuff off. And then they not even paying that quarter. So I can barely eat now. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So... If this hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen. Actually, probably in the next couple of days. That's what I'm feeling like. All right, but let's see what this secret coming out. What is this secret coming out for the Scorpio? August 31st through July. No, July 31st through August. What is the secret? July 31st through August 7th. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, so this person... I feel like they're telling you they are coming back, but it's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't go there. Let's see. Give me some more clear up. Clarify this. What is this? I don't know. Maybe it's just going to be hard for you. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling like for some of you, they haven't left yet. And I, or you haven't felt the, I feel like it's more stuff behind what they left, like more stuff that's in your name, like stuff you just signing off for and like, okay, here, take this, take this. I feel like more stuff is going to come out about that while they're gone, you know? Okay. All right. Yeah. So. You, you turned them down presents or you turned them down or on something. Or they turned you down when you said you want the stuff back. Like, pay for this. Get rid of this, you know. 
All right, what's going on for a Scorpio love reading? July 31st through August 7th, 2017. Ooh, you got some flippers. So the lover's card. <laughs> okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Okay, so somebody's manipulating you with love. So... I'm starting to see another story. Maybe somebody came back and they're acting like they love you just so they can get more stuff out of you. But I still feel like they left you with a whole bunch of burdens in the past. But then now you already pissed off and they're going to come back and try to ask for more. That's what I'm feeling like. And I feel like they're going to come back. You still contemplating what they did and you still haven't getting, gotten a full hit of what they've been doing. But you're going to actually think about it. Like, I don't know, maybe I should. But in reality, you know, this person left you with all that stuff once. they just trying to take something for them. Probably get you to get something in their name. You know, like, oh, let's get this together. I'm going to put it in my name this time so that I don't mess you up. But they just want to go get it, take it, and take, a, take it away. You can't keep that. You know, you can't take them to court for that. All right, Scorpio, July 31st. August 7th, 2017, love reading. Stop eating the bars. Sorry. All right. So this could be a third party situation, but in this whole situation, it might be, um, it could be a third party celebration, a situation or a celebration. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to read these out the book because cause that's how I roll. Mm. Might be dealing with the Aries. Okay, we're just going to flip the last one. Yeah, I can feel trapped too. Alright, let's read these straight out the book. Three of Cups. Three of Cups, Three of Cups. A problem has been solved and it is now time to... Celebrate, enjoy the moment. A uh, favorable outcome is predicted. So, I don't know. Like, right now, I don't feel like you are in a good state. But it's like, after a while, you're going to get there. You know, I feel like by the end of the week, you'll be back in a state of mind where you feel like, okay, let me just go out and do something. Because being in here, being in the house all day, or being shove myself into work ain't gonna make me feel or isn't gonna make me feel feel better all right we got a nine of staffs nine of staffs says problems of your past may haunt you enemies may be near be very careful with what you trust take what you have learned from the past and use it now so it's basically like when this person come back and try to finagle you into getting some something in their name, you know, just think about it. All right, so we got the emperor. This says a person who is not afraid to speak their mind has strong beliefs and does not change their minds easily. Promotion at work or a time for success, advancement, a great chance to make some money, a time of power. So I feel like this person is going to make you feel like you're going to make some money off whatever this thing is. But you're not. They're trying to trick you into believing that. And it, mm, Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords now. So the Eight of Swords says a feeling of being held prisoner, trapped by some force, a situation difficult to escape from. Okay, so it's like... I feel like that's all the stuff that they had from you in the past and you feel like you linked to them people or that person for those reasons but in reality the stuff is your name in your name most of it and it's like what can you do about it there's nothing you can do but probably try to rent it or lease it out to somebody you know or uh try to just sell it and you know get whatever you can get and pay off the rest and hope they can understand the contract that you make between them other than that there's nothing you can do about the spilt milk, but that's all I got for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful week.